Target now and we are gonna see what we can find I did come here to get some tampons and pads but I had a few of the things that I wanted to pick up I actually went to Bath and Body Works earlier y'all I did not take y'all along with me but I will show you what I got when I get home do not forget to subscribe if you are not already and join the gang also turn on the notification bell so you do not miss any other hygiene videos from me because They'll be coming. So I wonder if they have any EOS lotion. It's probably on the other side, but let's look at the body washes first. So this is the Tahitian pomegranate and coconut milk. That actually smells very, very good. I'm getting this. This smells so good. So I also wanted to try this coconut miracle oil right here this body wash i've been seeing it all over tiktok all over insta or youtube that actually smells real good oh my goodness this smells good i'm definitely getting this one so i've also been seeing this coffee scrub as well um i don't really know how i feel about smelling like coffee but we gonna smell it and see what it smells like Mmm, that smells good. I'm gonna pass. I don't think I want to smell like coffee. Um, let's see. I did want to pick up some of the native deodorants. I meant deodorants. Native body washes. This is lilac and white tea right here. So let's smell it. That smells good. I'm getting this for sure. Getting it. Aloe and birch water scent by Dove. Let's smell this one. Oh my god, that smells good. I gotta get this. I gotta get it. <laughs> I literally have four body washes in my car already, and I have not even been in here five minutes, y'all. It's ridiculous. I did also want to try some of the um, Olay body washes as well, but I don't know. It's like I already have four. <laughs> I literally already have four in my cart, but we are gonna smell this and see what it smells like. That definitely gives me auntie vibes. Something that my auntie would use for sure. Buff show. So you guys know that I've been obsessed with the Dove dry sprays, but I kind of want to try out some of the 0% um, aluminum deodorants. Um, but I don't see any. They, I don't even see that they have any at all. You know, I gotta take a look at the dry sprays. This is beauty finish right here. That smells really good. Okay, they don't really have much on this aisle. I'm gonna head over to um, the tampons and pads. That's really what I came in here for. Now, if you guys have not heard of this brand, I have been obsessed with this brand right here. I think it's been about a year um, since I started using these and changed my life. My periods are actually not as long. I don't cramp as much. So if you do experience things like that, uh, I would highly recommend switching over to an all natural um, tampon and pad and see if that'll relieve some of your stress because I'm sure it will. But I'm gonna get the uh, regular I'm actually gonna do the super and super plus <laughs> they have a couple of different ones so they have the um, extra long this is more so for overnight this is super for more of like a heavier period 
and then this is regular which this is the one that I'm gonna go with because I'm using tampons too so it really just does not make sense to get any heavier ones yeah I'm gonna get these I did not realize honey pot also has pads yeah these are pads and apparently they have scents but I don't know let's see what else did I want to pick up oh here it is so I seen one of the girls on YouTube try this out I didn't realize Elburn had feminine wash but I did want to try this out so let's see white tea essence and vitamin E and then this one is a daily wash oh, okay I see I see so they have this one is a daily wash which is just made with vitamin E it has no fragrances sulfates or parabens which is what I love about the L brand but then they also have this one here which is white tea and vitamin E and this is more of a period wash so something you would use when you're in your period but I'm just gonna I'm just gonna get this one because um, I heard a girl talk about this, so I'm gonna try it out. Oh, I also wanted to pick up these. So I'm gonna get these two. All right, y'all, let's see if they got some tree hut scrubs for us today. Hopefully they do. And they have a few, it looks like. Been wanting to try the um, exotic bloom one. This one right here. Ooh, that smells good. And I'm definitely getting this. I've been seeing the Tahitian vanilla bean everywhere and people just are raving about this one too. But I have never just smelt it. So let's smell it. I like it I do like it but it's mm, it's not given so this one is the um, Coco Colada so this is the one that I um, actually looked at in my last haul but I never smelled it so I'm gonna smell it this one actually doesn't smell bad I think I'm just gonna get this one for today they have them some more of the dr. Bronner's soaps right here so I definitely want to smell these to see if there's one I like. It smells like a rose, it actually really does. So this one is just tea tree. I mean, I like it, it just smells just like tea tree. Citrus. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna, we just gonna leave those right where they at. Um, <laughs> they're cute, but I'm not, it's like, I'm not about to spend my money on that right now. So, let's see. I did also want to pick up another exfoliating cloth, but they don't have it. They don't have any, which is kind of sad. Maybe I can find one at Walmart because I do need to go to Walmart. I'm going to get this because I actually been wanting one of these. This is just a foot brush. I really have been wanting to look at this brand right here, the Beloved brand. I always see it. I always see it in, um, you know, Target, obviously, but never picked it up. Let me see how it smells. Mmm, this smells good. This one. But I have, I think I have enough body washes. So I'm gonna just leave that there for now and maybe I'll come back to it because it does smell really good. Let's see what else they got. Let's see if we can find, um, the EOS lotion let me see if they even got it at this location because I have not seen it okay so it actually looks like they do not sell it at this one so that's pretty disappointing maybe I'll have to go to another one I guess what we'll do is actually go ahead and check out we'll head to Walmart because I have to actually get a money order so I'm gonna do that and then see what hygiene products they have
Walmart right now and um, I'm in the oral section. I am in desperate need for a new toothbrush though. So I think that I've been really wanting to try this brand, to be honest. Um, but I would prefer like the gold one, but that's like 40 bucks and I'm not ready to be spending no $40 on a toothbrush, okay? Not right now. So I think what I'm going to do is just go with a standard one, just a plain one. Um, I'm sure that my boyfriend needs one too, so maybe I should get a two pack. So I usually go with these ones, the medium one. I usually like to have like a rougher um, toothbrush. These are medium, um, but I like a rougher one usually, but honestly, it's not really recommended that you use a rougher one. To be honest, I'm just gonna go ahead and get a pack of these right here because they're $4.50 basically, and they do the job, and I'll be able to replace them. I will get the jacked up basket. Really? Really, Terika? I've been seeing these everywhere too, like the different um, the different flavors, grapefruit, grapefruit, <laughs> cucumber, grapefruit, and then coconut, but I just don't know how that's, is it gonna like really freshen my breath? So I, I don't really know if um, I'm good with that. I really don't need any more mouthwash because right now I'm using this one. Um, I tried it again, really not a huge fan of it because it just, I don't really like it. And then the toothpaste, um, after I use it once, I haven't picked it up since, so I'm not really a fan of that. So yeah, I remember my grandma used to use this all the time, the blue one though. Um, so I wanted to pick some up, these ones. So I'm gonna pick some of these up so that way my breath can stay fresh all day. So we're gonna get those. I did also wanna let y'all know that they sell the L brand in Walmart now too. So if you don't have a Target near you, um, then you can go to Walmart. Y'all, it smells so freaking good. It helps to replenish moisture as well, y'all. So, oh my God, it's $6 and I already got a ton of body wash, so I'm not gonna pick it up this time, but it is on my list to pick up. Oh, this is really why I wanted to come to Walmart because they don't have these at Target. Um, so the body mousse right here, I wanted to get these. It's also good for shaving, so I think I'm just gonna go ahead and pick up the uh, rose oil one. I think that'll be the best thing for me. Um, I did also want to pick up this Dove Baby Wash. It's hyperallergenic and I heard it is good for the downstairs area. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick this up as well. Not sure how it smells, but I'm sure it smells good. Dove does really a job with that. So look at that. I don't know how to pronounce this. This is the oatmeal one in Calendula oil. I don't know how I feel about that one. Um, they also have this right here. This is the rejuvenating one. It's pomegranate and hibiscus. So, I mean, it's, it smells good. It's, it's very strong. I feel like that would last long. So we'll see what kind of tree hut scrubs that they have. Hopefully they have some. Um, they only have the coconut lime one. No. That actually smells like um can too like the hair care brand but they do have some body butter this is the vitamin c one right here so this is the only one that they have oh that smells good and look how it looks definitely picking that up that smells really good y'all i think that'll be it all right y'all so we are gonna start with bath and body works i did not take y'all along with me because i really didn't plan on going into bath and body works but I was at the mall and I was like, dang, I've been wanting to go to Bath and Body Works. So I just hopped in. They still had a few items on sale. So I was like, okay, I got, definitely got to pick some stuff up. But let's go ahead and see what I picked up. The first thing that I picked up was this Body Mist and it is in Pink Lemonade. This is how it looks. Can y'all see that? So this is how it looks. It's 
pink pink lemonade i said pink lemonade pink watermelon so if you guys watched my last haul you seen that i picked up the watermelon scrub so i just thought that this would go really really good with the scrub by tree hut so i wanted to pick this up and then i also picked up the body cream by them as well so this is how it looks y'all it smells so good it smells just like watermelon honestly if you are into like watermelon scents and stuff like that i would definitely check this out i'm not sure if they'll still have it but you can always check online so when i came across these i definitely had to pick them up so i got those two things i did also get um two more body creams this is midnight pomegranate um right here and i also got the uh, shower gel in the midnight pomegranate one of y'all on here recommended that i tried this you actually recommended a few other ones but i could not find them unfortunately they were sold out but this one mm, it smells so good like it's i mean it just smells like fruity I think that's the best way that I can describe this fruity um, which I don't necessarily mind it just kind of really depends but this smells so freaking good if you can find this I would highly recommend um, picking this up but midnight pomegranate definitely a fan of so, oh I think she also recommended this to me as well so this is the winter peach marshmallow right here I'm sure this one is a winter scent because um, I mean, it just looks like it, but this smells so good. I actually sprayed some on already. It smells so good. I think with Bath & Body Works, they're more of like, they really just, their sprays and, and their fragrances give me fruity. That's, that's really the best that I can describe it. Fruity and sweet, kind of like a fruity sweet type of smell. Um, but this one does smell so, so good, y'all. Winter Peach Marshmallow. It definitely smells like marshmallows and honestly it just smells good so i can see myself using this for the rest of winter but i got the body spray and the body cream mm, it smells so good i did not realize that bath and body works sold bar soaps so i was like dang girl i definitely gotta pick this up but this is how it looks this is in rose um it was this was eight dollars um i don't know why we just spent eight dollars on a bar of soap but i was like let me go ahead and try it and see how it does but this does have shea butter in it so i was like okay let me check it out um i will definitely let y'all know how this is i have never tried any of the bar soaps before because i didn't even know that they had it but i am going to try this out and let y'all know if you guys have tried this out though leave a comment down below let me know how you feel about these um because if i really like them i want to go and pick some more up um, but throw some recommendations down below if you have tried these and what fragrance I should try. I picked up some hand cream, y'all, because it's winter and I'm sure that y'all seen earlier in the video that my hands was looking a little crusty, okay? Um, it's just so cold out here, so my hands are like always ashy. So I said, let me go ahead and pick up some hand cream, but this is in the stars and I already put some on, y'all. It smells so freaking good. Oh my God, like, mm. <sighs> It just smells good but that is actually all that i picked up from bath and body works so if you guys want to check those out definitely do if they still have them available but those are some really really good scents that i like so we are going to move on to target so as y'all seen i picked up a few things there um i really needed to go in there for one thing but i was like okay it would not be right if i did not look at some body care so i was like okay let me go ahead and just look at some body care i picked up a lot actually so <laughs> let me show y'all what i got um i'm gonna first show y'all what i am most excited about which is i call it l organics but this is just the l brand um i did open it already because i, I was in dire need of these so i was like let me go ahead and open them up so these are the l organic um tampons right here these are made with 100 percent organic cotton which i love because it just makes it just way more comfortable in my opinion down there in a you know down in that area so um i really really love these for so many different reasons but these tampons have no bleaching pesticides dyes or any fragrances which i really love i highly recommend switching over to something more natural with no fragrances and stuff like that honestly when i started using these i seen a major difference my i don't cramp as much number one and my periods don't last as long um i think they last now for five days and they used to last for seven days when i used to use 10 packs and these are pretty affordable you get 30 for like $70 which I think 10 packs you get 30 maybe 30 or 38 for seven dollars so honestly you're losing a, just a little bit for more of an all-natural tampon 
So I highly recommend switching over to these. Um, and then I also picked up, so these I got super and super plus, but they do come in a variety of different sizes. So whatever fits you best. I also picked up the pads because I'm, I don't know, this may be TMI, but I just bleed heavy. So I just need double protection. So I picked up the regular ultra thin pads right here. And these are also fragrance free, no chlorine um, and all that good stuff. So these are very very comfortable honestly i would say throw away the tampax and the always because these are game changer um these ones right here i think they are actually even cheaper than always um pads but these come with 42 for i think about seven dollars and i think always you can get around the same amount for nine dollars so these are even cheaper y'all i would really really recommend these especially if you experience any cramping or longer periods i would switch it up to see if that does make a difference that actually may help i live by these i've been using these for about a year this is another product that i got from the l brand so this is the foaming wash you guys know that i really really love the honey pot feminine wash but since i use the tampon and pads i really wanted to try this out so i'm gonna let y'all know how i feel about this they actually do have two different kinds this is the daily wash right here and then they also have one for when you're actually on your period this is how the bottle looks it's so cute so i want to try this out in comparison to the honey pot that it actually has vitamin e in it and it has um pretty much the same benefits as the tampons and pads do so um no fragrances sulfates or parabens i actually picked this up a while back but this is bor the boric acid and herbs by the honey pot brand so I wanted to share this with you guys. Um, I actually have never used this before in my life, um, but I did want to try it out because boric acid is good for restoring like your pH and things like that, especially after your period. So um, I definitely want to check this out and I will let y'all know how I feel about it. Um, but that's pretty much all when it comes to like the vagina care. So we are gonna move right on over to like the body wash. Y'all, I got like so many body washes, it's ridiculous. So. Um, I went ahead and picked up this hydrating aloe and birch water scent Dove soap right here, Dove body wash. So this is how it looks. I actually seen one of the girls on YouTube pick this up and I was like, let me go smell it. Do I like this? Um, it definitely smells fresh and it does have a little bit of sweetness to it as well, but um, it actually looks a little different than your normal Dove would look, but this is how it looks right here. Like it has more of like a gel type of look to it. Really, really wanted to try this out and it's supposed to be very hydrating. So I am excited to see what this will do. I also picked up this OGX Coconut Miracle Oil right here. I'm not really one to go for like coconut scents, but this smells really good. It has ultra moisture. So it just has like this sweet like coconut type of smell it smells really good i would highly recommend checking this one out i did pick up two more body washes um this one is by native i actually have never tried any of the native body washes so i wanted to pick one up this is how it looks right here what really catches my eye about native is they also are like more of an all-natural brand and this body wash is sulfate sulfate free paraben free dye free so really you know it's it has some really really great benefits and I'm excited to see how it will hold up like the scent and stuff like that. But this is the lilac and white tea, if I did not say that already. If you have any other native washes that I should try out, please leave them down below for me. Um, but I was like, okay, picking this one up. The last body wash that I picked up from Target was this Caress Tahitian Pomegranate and Coconut Milk right here. Y'all, look at that packaging. So cute. This smells really good. It definitely gives me a fruity smell. I feel like anytime that I smell anything with pomegranate, it gives me like a fruity smell. But I do have, I believe, um, a pomegranate wash by Dove. So I think that would go good with this. Um, so I'm gonna try that out. If you guys wanna see like how I pair my uh, fragrances, like my scrubs and body washes and things like that, leave a comment down below because I see a few people do that and I actually really enjoy them. So I may actually start incorporating those as well. But the last thing, or no, this is not the last thing, but I did pick up a tree hut scrub. This is the exotic bloom one right here. Um, and y'all, this smells so freaking good. I'm really get, I'm really stepping my game up with these tree hut scrubs. That smells so good. It definitely smells um, floral. It does have that floral scent to it. Wanted to pick this one up, but I also picked up this 
foot brush by Eco Tools right here. So it has like a brush on this side and then it has a pumice on the other side. So I just think this is nice and lightweight and it'll be perfect for me to keep my feet nice and soft along with like my foot creams and stuff like that between pedicures. So pick that up. I also picked up these Ashawan Ashawaganda, Ashawaganda. Ashwagandha gummies right here um, by Go Leaf. I actually already tasted one and they taste like, they taste good. It make you want to eat the whole bottle to be honest with you. But Ashwagandha, 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 Ashwagandha. It has a lot of benefits, but really what sticks out to me when it comes down to Ashwagandha is that it claims to help reduce like stress and anxiety and depression, things like that. So that really, really caught my eye. Specifically the Goli gummies, these are gluten-free. If you have a gluten allergy, these would be perfect for you still. They're non-GMO, uh, plant-based and also vegan. So these would be perfect pretty much for anybody. So I really, really wanted to try these out. Um, to be honest, I am a person that gets overwhelmed a lot. So I'm excited to see what these will do. I only took one of them, so I'm gonna keep taking them and I'll keep y'all updated on them. If you have tried these, let me know how you feel. Like, it does it really reduce stress? Like, I'm just curious. So I had to pick these up. I think these were about $20. So it comes with 60 gummies and it is recommended that you take two of these gummies twice a day. Um, so I'm gonna start taking these and hopefully we'll see a result because your girl be stressed and overwhelmed, okay? This is why I have to have my self-care days, okay? Because without them, who would I be? We don't wanna see that person, okay? So as y'all seen, I also did step into Walmart. I picked up a few things, really didn't expect to pick up a few things, but I did. So I'm just gonna show y'all what I got. So the first thing that I got was this Dove, Baby Dove Sensitive Care Hyperallergenic Wash. Um, right here and I just heard that this is really good for you know the downstairs area just because it's very gentle I mean a baby can use this so I'm sure it's good for down there it is fragrance free it's supposed to moisturize as well so I'm really excited to try this out this has no parabens uh, sulfates any of that if you do have like a baby or something like that I will probably check this out it is hyperallergenic and no fragrance in it so I think this would be perfect I did also pick up some baby washcloths right here y'all looking at me crazy but i picked these up because it's just more gentle for you know the downstairs area versus like more of those rougher towels so i wanted to go ahead and pick some of these up i picked up a um pack of toothbrushes right here just your basic colgate uh toothbrushes i think this is yeah this is soft even though i, I more so go for medium toothbrushes but Honestly, soft is more recommended. So I went ahead and picked these up. I feel like you can never have too many toothbrushes. So I picked those up. Also picked up these Listerine strips right here, just, you know, to keep my breath, you know, smelling fresh throughout the day because the worst thing is having bad breath. So this one, um, these are like OGs. So I just wanna throw one of these in my purse so that way if I'm feeling a little like I need to freshen up or whatever, um, I can just pop one of these in and I'll be good to go because you can smell good, look good, but if your breath stink, that ain't cute. Um, so pick you some of these up. Um, I mean, it just really never hurts. I actually also keep like the little portable on the go toothbrushes. Those are really good too. I also picked up this vitamin C body cream. Y'all, I've been looking for this everywhere and I have not been able to find it. This was the very last one in Walmart. So I was like, let me go ahead and snatch it up. This is how it looks right here. It smells so good. I do have the body scrub in the vitamin C. Mm, right here, this is how it looks. Um, but the best way that I can describe the vitamin C smell is that it just smells like laundry detergent to me. So really clean, really fresh. So I am excited to use this and try it out. And then the very last thing that I picked up was this body mousse. This is by Dove right here. Here I do actually have the Dove dry sprays, which I talk about constantly. And I do have it in the rose scent. I think those would pair well together. Um, but this is also really good for shaving. So I'm really excited to try this out and it's supposed to get a really good lather on it. So real excited um so that is all that i picked up y'all really seem to like these types of hauls so i am going to continue to do them please leave any suggestions that you have on any products that i should try down below in the comments but do not forget to subscribe if you have not already and you made it this far please go ahead and subscribe join the family and if you like these types of videos and you would like to see more of these videos please 
give this video a big old thumbs up and i will see y'all in the next video peace